Tensions are escalating between Iran and Israel. Israel says it's destroyed nearly all of Iran's military capabilities in Syria, reported retaliation for an Iranian missile attack on the Golan Heights. Syria's army says at least three were killed in the Israeli attacks. Observers put the death toll at nearly two dozen, including non-Syrians. CGTN's Stephanie Freed reports. Israel's security cabinet met in a special session Thursday night as tensions with Iran bubbled dangerously close to the surface. Israeli officials say they hit dozens of Iranian sites inside Syria overnight Wednesday, including intel operations, weapons depots, and revolutionary guard bases. The strikes were retaliation for what they say was a 20-strong rocket stream fired on Israel around midnight. Our policy is clear. We will not allow Iran to militarily entrench inside Syria. Yesterday, I sent a clear message to the Assad regime. Our actions are aimed at Iranian targets inside Syria. But if the Syrian army takes action against us, we will take action against it. Germany, France and England condemned the Iranian rocket barrage. Russia urged restraint. As for escalation between Israel and Iran, we think it is a rather disturbing trend. We believe that all the problems should be solved through a dialogue, and many times in context with the leadership of Iran and Israel, including yesterday at the meeting between President Putin and Prime Minister Netanyahu. We emphasized the need to avoid any actions which would be mutually, so to say, provoking. Meanwhile, on the Israel side of the Syria-Israel demarcation line, Military outposts bolstered their positions with artillery and rocket replenishments as both Iran and Israel reiterated, we do not want an escalation. Israel maintains it will bar Iran from building up a military presence inside Syria. Wednesday's confrontation came hours after Prime Minister Netanyahu met with Russian President Vladimir Putin in Moscow. Is a next round on the horizon? And if so, when? And if there is a next round, will it descend into full-blown war between the two sides? Stephanie Freed, CGTN, on the Golan Heights.